Okay, so we start with uh, the creation of a network under NetLogo. So um, I fire up uh, NetLogo and uh, we have the interface empty for, for now because there is no code. And uh, the first thing to, to do is to um, think about the setup of the model. So, uh, the setup is just a function that uh, will prepare everything for the model to to be simulated. So you prepare everything, uh, the entities, uh, the attribute of the entities, the function to be applied, and um, and so then you, the environment will be ready for your model to, to run. So uh, I start by uh, going into the code um, panel and I create my first uh, procedure, my first function, that is uh, setup. So I begin with two, setup. I already put uh, the keyword and, and the first thing to do is to uh, reset everything. So the command is called clear all. Uh, as you can see, the, the function is uh, displayed in blue uh, because because the key, special keywords are, are displayed in uh, brown, blue, and purple, and and green also. So I start by uh, by clearing everything uh, from the previous model run, for example. Then I have to uh, create some totals. Um, let's say I will create ten totals. So I type create dash totals. Let's say uh, 10. OK. I check if there is no mistake and I go to the interface. Uh, I have just written a function setup, so to call that function, I will create a button. And the command to be uh, triggered by the button have to have the same name of the function uh, in the code panel. So my function is called setup, so I type setup. OK, then I click and uh, you can see that uh, here there is a little patch of color. These are my totals. But uh, you only see one dot of, uh, of color because my totals have been created at the same patch. So uh, this is not very visible. Uh, so I will add another line in my setup uh, function to make the total bigger first, so I will I will uh, make the attribute size of the total equal to two because uh, the default size is one. So I, I type set size two. You don't have to put to put the equal sign. You just make uh, set the variable name and then the value. So let's say four. Maybe it's a little bit big, but uh, no problem. Oh, sorry, uh, I check. I can't use uh, size in an observer context because size is total only. Okay, uh, I will have to ask my totals to set their size. In fact, set size is a function to be run by totals, and here I'm not in a total context. To be in a total context, I will have to ask the totals to set their size to the value of four. So I type ask who I ask totals. I open a square bracket. Inside, I put set size equal four. I close the bracket. I check there is no problem. Go back to the interface and type setup. So you see the size have been uh, increased, but the totals are still at the same place. So I will uh, I will put the totals at random coordinates into the black square of the into the world of uh, the model. So. I have just asked to uh, for the totals to, to, to set their size to 4. I will now set their uh, x and y coordinates to random position. I do that by using the command set x, y. And uh, there is a special variable uh, um, in NetLogo that is a random x core for random x coordinate. So it's a random coordinate along the x axis axis and there is a pendant for y axis so random y core 
uh, this should do uh, the job. I check, there is no problem. I go back to the interface, I type setup, and here we have our totals that are displayed at random in the world of Netlogo. So we are quite happy. I will, um, I will decrease the size of the totals now. Uh, okay. Okay. So you see that uh, the, the the totals are, are uh, spread into the, um, the world of Netlogo. Okay, uh, that should do it for the moment. Um, I will now ask the totals to create a link with another total. So this is not a setup procedure because uh, the, the model is ready to be um, uh, to be run. So uh, I will create another function uh, that I will call uh, create single link because I want to create a single link between a total and another. So uh, how to do that? I want one link to be created between some totals. So I will ask to one total picked at random into the total population so there is a special keyword for that, which is one of. I will ask one of the total to um, to create a link. So one of totals to create a link with another total. Um, let me check my uh, my cheat codes. Mm. Okay, so uh, we'll have a quick look at the documentation. Under links, you have uh, create link with here. So this is documentation. You have to carefully read it, but there is. A function that is called create link with and you give them you give uh, the function an argument uh, which is a total so what I want to do is to ask one of the total to create a link with another total so to do that we use create link with one of total but I don't want to create loop between my nodes, uh, re-entering loops, uh, reflexive links. I don't want to create reflexive links, so I want to be sure that the other total I will create a link with is not the same as the current total uh, who I ask to create the link. So to do that, between one of and total, I will put the, the, um, the keyword other. Other will will check that the other total I want to create a link with will not be the same as this total that I have asked to uh, create a link with. So okay, uh, this should do the job. Uh, uh, remember to save your code uh, um, every five minutes or so. So I check. Oh, there is a problem. Total expected one input a number. Uh, yes, in fact, it's other totals because one of uh, is one of several totals, so not just one, uh, several totals is the total node set of uh, the model, the, the, the set of every totals. So with an S, it's better. I go back to the interface and to call the function I have just, I have just uh, written, I create another button and um, I called it by the name uh, create single link. I guess it's a name. Okay. I uh, I set up the model again and I ask one of the total to create a link with another total. Okay. This total or maybe this one I don't know. I've asked one of the other total, so everyone except him, to create a link with it. If I click again. You can see that links are progressively uh, added. Um, that's it. That's it, uh, pretty much. Uh, you may have noticed that uh, totals can uh, exit the, the the world of Netlogo. For example, this one is a little bit 
out of the bounds of the world. Uh, it's not a problem for now. We will see later how to fix that. Uh, one last thing. Uh, nodes are not uh, this kind of little arrowheads. So I will, in the setup function, set the shape of turtles to be circle. So you do that with um, the, f the the function set default shape. And uh, I won't. I will not put it here. I will put it before the creation of the turtles. So do that for every turtles, and I want a circle shape. Okay, let's go back to the interface. Here we have round uh, turtles. So we have things that look like nodes in network and you can still uh, create some links with uh, between two turtles taken at random. Okay, uh, that should be it for the first tutorial. Um, maybe uh, in the first, in the next uh, video we will see how to prevent the turtles to get out of the bound of um, the world of NetLogo. Okay, thank you and uh, see the, the next step of uh, the model um, construction.